Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is my second Minecraft video after, well, taking a tour of my world. So today, uh, you remember last time when I said I would go inside of here and I'll take kind of a, like a tour of it. Well, I'm just going to do exactly that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get straight into it. So let's just go in. It's just a little doghouse. Now we are here in the doghouse. So, anyways, this house is not only owned by, well, it's owned by Pengy, Nook, and Dave. My three best dogs. They've got these creeper heads to like chew on, I guess. And then down here is where they do all their business. And as you can see, they've been doing their business for a little while. So yeah, that's why that room's kind of crappy and filled up with crap. So moving on, you have a grandfather clock. Then you go this way. There's a hot tub right here. There's a little drying area. I'm not going to go in there. Well, that one. But yeah, it just has bubbles in it and you bounce around. Here's the towels, by the way. But that's not just... Huh? That's not all. We still have much, much more. This is how many rooms there are. We're only going to be showcasing half the house, so... And once we get to the 10th floor, we'll just stop. Which, yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of rooms. You don't need to, like, look at the words on here. But in case you want to, I mean, that's fine. Because you're going to be seeing the whole house anyways. Anyways, right in this room over here is just an ordinary living room. You sit down on this giant couch right here. You've got your table right here and a little TV. So, you walk out of there. And then, you've got one bedroom. It's got four yellow beds, two bookshelves, it's just a bedroom. Uh, this next one, which has green beds, four green beds, beds, I mean, sorry. And then two bookshelves. And then the other one, which is identical to the other two, just blue beds. Four blue beds, two bookshelves. So yeah, that was just the first floor. We still got nine more floors to go. So you walk up here. You can, of course, go to the elevator and come up here, which is why there's a little hallway that leads to the elevator over here, because that's obviously the elevator. That's how you get throughout most of the house. There's elevators everywhere, because you always, you're always you probably going to need elevators, or else there's no way to get up to the other floors, except you'll have to use the second floor stairs. But in case of that, you only have access to two floors, and that's the first and second. So this is a little sitting area, it's got a uh, bookshelf, it's got a seat, there's this little walkway, it has tiles, um, so you walk over here, then it's the portal room, you've got an end portal and another portal, so in case you want to go into any other uh, worlds and, well, you got it. That's, uh... The reason why it's all in a bedrock room, why it has this iron door, is because if anything comes out of either one of these dimensions, you don't want them getting out and destroying the house. Because, yeah, that's just a window that looks out to another part of the house. That's the other parts we got to look at. That's strange. There's weird little blue things. We'll get to that later. Just wait. Over here is the kitchen. You've got loads of chests. You've got smoker, dinner bell, sinks. You've got crafting tables. You've got this nice calcite flooring. When you walk on it, it kind of makes like a rough stone sound. Over here is the dining room. It's got a giant mirror. Unfortunately, I'm a vampire. I don't know. You can't really see yourself through the mirror because, well... I'm a vampire, I guess. Didn't know that, but you've got four tables, it got red tablecloths. Yeah, that was just this yeah, we've still got two more rooms on the second floor. We're just getting started. 
over here is, well, kind of the nature walk. I call it the nature walk because you can just walk through it to get away from every, any other man-made materials in the house. You've got plants, you've got lanterns, uh, the spore blossoms, they're the ones that leak out all these little green spores that you see floating around the house as they go on. But yeah, that's kind of what happens in this house. So, moving on, we have the pool. Which, in case the, if the hot tub on the fourth floor wasn't enough, I don't know why the hot tub isn't in here, but I guess it just isn't. But, yeah, you've just got a giant pool. So, in case you don't want to go into the hot tub, you can just come over here. And you don't want things hot, you can just go into nice cold water. And, yeah, there's lights at the bottom. There's pool seats. There's your diving board. I can hop off of. So anyways, you've got this nice copper tile flooring. Um, out of here, we... Cool. So let's fix that. Let's go down to the elevator so we can go move on to the third floor. Of course, we could just go through that hallway that I mentioned earlier, but who needs hallways? Let's go up to the third floor. This is the third floor. It's got a gigantic movie theater. And so you've got your giant flat screen. You've got like eight rows of six chairs. Yeah, that's a lot of chairs. Here's your snack room. We've got movie posters. Of course, I did not mean to break that. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of this. Let me fix that. If I break, oh, if I break things in the house, uh... Well, that's fine. I can just rebuild it any time. This is where you get all your snacks like chips and cookies, fruit, and desserts and pastries. Over here is your drink section, and then there's just a little couch over here that you can sit on. I don't know. Yeah, you've got movie posters. Over here is the grand ballroom, because this whole house is based off of, well, the house of Dogman. Over here is the library hallway, but this isn't just a hallway. Th well, that wasn't just the library, because you've got this whole area. And I'm not gonna go through these because it's gonna take like for it's gonna take forever. There's three tables so you can sit down, read the book, read the book you got, and yeah, it's just full of knowledge and nonfiction and any sort of book that you like. And there's the second story on. It's literally two stories on one story. Anyways, there's... Well, you've got a little bridge thingy. Like, a, kind of a balcony that you can look over to the first floor of the library. Yeah, it's just a very nice little library that you can come to when you want to read. Now, let's enter the fourth floor. This is the fourth floor, as you can see. Over here is the garbage chute. So, in case you want to get rid of any garbage, you can just, you know, throw stuff down here so you can get rid of garbage. But let me show you where that actually leads to. It leads down to this, well, pile of actual garbage. So let's get, well, these out of my inventory again. Uh, so yeah, that was the garbage chute, and that's just one part on this floor. Still got many other parts on many other floors. So this is the farm. It's got you've got carrots, potatoes, seeds, beetroot seeds, and then this is your farm. You know, you just flick that lever, takes down all the crops into those hoppers, which you can find them in this chest, and it looks like it's been working for a little while. So yeah. Cool. Anyways, uh Here's my melon farm. It unfortunately doesn't work, but here's how it would work. The, the melon would grow, then you just easily smush it down into that water. The reason I don't think it's growing is because, well, I don't think melons can grow above water. And also, I don't think melons can grow something above them while they're growing. I don't exactly know why it's not growing. But, like, eh, who cares? And then, yeah, this is a sugar cane farm. And, 
yes, it definitely works because that is a lot of sugar cane. Now think about how much sugar you'll be getting. So yeah, that was fun. Move over here. Oops. Put it right there. You walk in here, and then there is Mr. Piggy, who owns the coaster. I don't know why he's like, his face is cornered into that wall. I don't know. So, yeah. Put down the minecart, and then you just ride it. So, yeah, so it's a nice little farm ride. You've got pumpkins, and then there's this little garden area. You've got black and white stripes. Then you have the spiral, which takes you through a humongous spiral that spins all around. So once you're officially done with the spiral, you fall down here, and then you go through this tunnel area. Same. Then you go up here, you come around here, you go through here, you come up here, then you're back with Mr. Piggy. Hello, Mr. Piggy. I need to put that minecart back just for, just to save it. Uh, and then you're on uh, the fifth floor. This floor has got the arcade. Of course, it's a beautiful arcade. You've got many games. You've got all these games. You've got two, like, you've got this fighting game so you can play any game with your friends. Yeah, it's just a normal arcade. Over here is the bathroom, so this is where people, actual humans do their business. Of course, my dog's down there. Uh, my dogs actually own this house, just so you know. So if you think anything in here is built by me, uh, no it isn't. It's built my, by my dogs, of course. Yeah, and every, every bathroom is kind of identical. You've just got these toilets right here. You can lift the lid and do business. I'm not going to do it right now. Um, over here is your sinks, so you can wash your hands. Of course, every time after you use the bathroom, you have to wash your hands. You have to get good hygiene. Over here is the gallery. Please do not touch or break any painting, which is, of course, what I don't want to do. And let's just go through these paintings. Pig scene, skeleton, and just so you know, these are the actual names of all the paintings, so if you want to know names of paintings just come and watch this video you've got donkey kong pointer over here is burning school you've got pool corvette sea creeper sunset you've got stage skull and roses you've got wither fighters the void uh, and then these are other paintings like bust match kebab Alban, Aztec 1, Aztec 2, Bomb, Wasteland, Plant. And then on the other side of this wall is Graham and Wanderer. So yeah, those are all the names. And then there's the meeting room. So you can have meetings. You can have these doors so you, if, in case you want to have a private meeting. Now let's go up to the sixth floor. Up here you have your storage room. None of these chests actually have anything in them, because, like, they're just empty, see? But they do have, but there's wood, glass, stone, ores, plants, fruits and vegetables, colored blocks, tools and weapons, armor, meat, uh, potions, house material, enchant enchantment, books, elements, and redstone related. Uh, over here's the, uh, McDonald's, so you can just sit down and eat some McDonald's. Here's your french fries up here. Got chicken nuggets, uh, burgers, and soda. That's the chest where you get all your food. And of course, Mr. Employee is not allowed to escape, is he? Um, so yeah, that's Employee. He's one who works here at McDonald's. Over here is the basketball room. And this is just a whole basketball court. Then you've got your bleachers, benches, whatever you call them back there. Uh, and then, yeah, you've got basketball hoops. It's just an ordinary basketball room. Basketball court. I think that's what they call it. And then the bowling alley. So in case you want to play bowling. Here's my friend Alberto. 
And then you've got your french fries, which is actually just baked potatoes, ranch, ketchup, and of course your leather boots. So you don't slip or do anything while on these, the wood. So this game is a little bit different from bowling. You don't have to knock down any pins. It's more like golf. You have to make it into the hole over there. So I'm just going to grab some planks and I'm going to throw them. And see if I can make them in. Yes, I made them in. So yeah, it's just a nice fun little game of golf slash bowling. So yeah, that was fun. Now on to the seventh floor. I want to get my head stuck on the wall. Uh, over here is my room because my dogs are nice. Well, actually, this is my room. Hold on. That's my room. Never mind. This is actually the tool room and the armory room. You've got enchantments. You've got your netherite armor. That's OP enchanted. Uh, this is locked, so you can't open it, unfortunately. Here's all your armor. Then there's all these tools and stuff. Yeah, it's fun. Over here is my bedroom, because my dogs are nice enough to give me a bedroom. Uh, here's my TV, because I like to sleep sideways in a position that I can see the TV. Uh, here's kind of the cabinets or, like, shelves that I can put stuff on. Then it's the game room, which is, of course, the best room of them all. You've got these arcade machines, ping pong table, so you can play ping pong, little cactus over here. There's this PC right here so you can play games, a canvas so you can kind of paint. You've got a mini basketball in case the giant basketball court isn't enough. I'm just going to fix that painting. Put it back. Hold on. Yeah, let's just fix that painting. That's not the painting. That's not the painting. That's not the painting. That's not the painting. That's the painting. Um, so yeah, this is paintings up there. You can play this mini little basketball in case the giant basketball isn't enough. There's a tape. There's a couch over there. There's, well, there's pool sticks. I didn't, I keep ba breaking things from this house. Uh, well, yeah, these are the pool sticks for the pool table. Over here is the TV, or the gaming TV. Uh, up here is the next floor. Of course, you have to have three more guest bedrooms and the disco room. Uh, so yeah, the disco room, you just put your music in there and then you can just start dancing off. You can just start bouncing around. Yeah, that's got lights on the floor so you can light up the mood. Over here is the soccer field, so you can always play soccer and there's that's all the other parts of the house. We'll get to that later. But anyways, there's the net. Another net. Here's your soccer ball. Sleakers or benches. I don't know what you call them. There's many names for them. Over here is the sauna, so you can get in here and it's steam in here so they can get all sweaty for whatever reason in case you like being sweaty. So yeah, you can just get sweaty in here. It's made of wood because some of kind of look like that. Over here, um, well you walk over here and then you've got well, the ninth floor and in here is the builder room. If I can open the door. There's, yeah, the villager room, so you can come in here to trade with any villagers. Their names is Vilvil, because villagers, Vil. Uh, yeah, they've got a little seating area, anvil, here's their food and store. their storage, there's smokers, they can sit down, and they can eat, and there's their beds, so they can sleep at night. So in case you want to go in there and just trade a little bit, you can. Over here's the prison. Uh, we put all the people who come to this house and do bad things, or the people who break in the house. Because we have a security system, you'll see that in the next Minecraft video I make. And yeah, they're just bad villagers. Unfortunately, every villager I put in this one cell, they just escape for no reason. I don't know how, but they just do. 
so I don't really put anyone in there anymore because I know they're just going to escape. Yeah, there's this villager. Uh, he uh, got arrested because, of course, he punched one of my dogs. And so they got, so that guy just got arrested by the authorities. Over here is the lounge so you can sit down and read a book. It's kind of like a bigger version of that thing that we saw on the second floor. Anyways, here's the cloakroom. So when you come in the house, you have to go all the way up here. And then you have to come in here, put down your coats. Then you can just uh, put things in chests, like purses, suitcases, anything that you bring along with the trip. Here's the second part of the ninth floor. You've got more bedrooms, uh, washers on the left, dries on the right. You've got your wool clothes. You've got uh, washers on the left, dries on. These are dryers, those are washers, so yeah. So you can just wash and dry anything you want. Then it's the aquarium. Uh, tropical fish, so you can look at them. I don't know why they're not swimming up. Okay, cave sounds are an, something often that appear in this world. The Guardian, you've got Parfa fish, squid. I think these were the things that I saw. Like that's one squid, like it's tentacles coming out. Yeah, I think when we were on the second floor looking out the window, I think, well, those were the things that we were seeing. Sea turtles, which unfortunately disappeared. Sadly, trying to save the turtles, but unfortunately they didn't like their enclosure in here. Uh, yeah, sea turtles are sad. Axolotls, so you can look at these little fish-eating monsters. They're really cute, but they eat fish, so I have to put them in separate tanks. Now there's this other door that just leads out of the aquarium. Or you can just go in here and you can act like that's the entrance. Now finally on to the last floor we're going to be doing for this part of the... Uh, doghouse for this part of the video. Here's the bar. So you can sit down, drink wine. You can, like, drink wine or beer, anything. Here's the stools. And there's this little area. I put this iron door here so in case there's a villager in there, they don't, like, break out or anything and, like, have to go to the prison again. We don't like arresting people. And over here is, well, the hotel. Because that's a whole entire hotel. I'm just going to show you this room because I don't want to go through every single room. There's TV, sinks, there's a bathroom right over here, the bathtub and a toilet, of course because it's a luxury house, and then it's the seventh room, which I believe is the best one because it has two, uh, two two-person beds, so four people. We've got big sink. Three sinks, three normal size sinks, giant TV, two toilets and a bathroom. I don't know what's up, up with that. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's go to the final room of this video. Of course, you have to have not a dining room, but a dinner table room where you can sit down, eat food with all the other. Fancy, rich, famous people who also live in the house or just guests. And that should be the end of the video. My phone's at low battery.